Hi everyone, welcome to week two of theater exercises and activities for K through fifth graders. The goal of this game is to create an environment using only your movement. We call this pantomiming. Pantomiming just means pretending that something's there. So if I'm drinking out of a cup, I could hold my hand like this and drink out of the cup. Right? So let's pretend for a second that we are at a football game. If I'm going to pantomime that I'm at a football game, I can hold a football in my hand like I'm about to throw it, right? And I can go like this and throw it. And the other person or people watching me are looking to try to understand what I am acting out. So let's say my brother or sister is watching me and they see that I'm throwing a football or that I'm running and they can come into the game and be in my environment with me. So maybe they catch the football once they've realized what you're doing and they're running now. So now you're both in the same environment pantomiming this fun game together. Once they've been in the environment for 10 seconds, maybe 30, they can say out loud, I think that you're at a football game. If they're correct, it's their turn. If they're not correct, then you keep going until somebody guesses what you did. So when we switch, you can be anywhere in the world. You could be at a bakery. You could be at your school musical practice. You could be at, let's see, the circus or um, getting your reflexes checked at the doctor's office. Have some fun creating your own environment. Maybe you're at a castle and you're a princess, or you're fighting a dragon. Think of all the cool things you could be doing, and then flop back and forth between players. That's it for this week. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Mr. Zach here. Thanks so much for watching Miss Courtney's acting class. I wanted to close things out, though, with a brief Bible lesson. During these acting classes, we're focusing on Ephesians 2.10, which says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. This passage is talking about how not only were we created by God, but we are his workmanship. We are the special, special thing that God worked hard to create. And that once we have been created, we are meant to do good works and do good things for God and for his kingdom. This right here is a walking stick. What I did to it a while ago, a long time ago, is I started to carve little words into it. It's actually from a Bible verse. But as you can see, it kind of stops. The writing stops about halfway down. Now the reason I'm showing you this is this originally was meant to be a workmanship of my own crafting. But I ran out of energy to do it and I decided to quit. Our God is perfect and he creates all things beautifully to have a uh, purpose in his world and in his kingdom. So my question to you is, do you believe that God created you for a purpose? Sometimes it's hard to figure out what that purpose is that God has for us. God wants to reveal that to you, and he wants you to know the purpose that he has for you. But what he asks of us is that we follow after him, and that we seek after him, because only then will we truly know God's purpose and will for our lives. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for creating us as your workmanship to do good works in the name of Christ Jesus. We pray that you would give us the strength to do that, even in difficult times. We love you, Lord, and we want to follow after you and to do your will. And we pray all these things in your son's holy name. Amen. Thanks for watching Urban Impact Online. We're so happy to share all these lessons and materials with you. If you'd like this video, please share it with your friends and family and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we ask that you consider supporting our work financially as we minister to our community in Pittsburgh and the rest of the world online. Just check out the description below for more details. Thank you and God bless.